I thought at that time that was where I was going to die. They put me in the ambulance, then um, I don't recall anything for about a month after that. That first day was, was terrible. Um, he was in surgery, they were doing damage control, basically, stopped the bleeding. What I didn't know was that his heart had already stopped twice in the first 10 minutes of surgery. Um, but they were doing damage control at that point, just, just trying to save his life. I don't think the doctors believed he would make it for the first four days anyway. Um, in fact, I asked our doctor later on, I said, when did you actually let yourself believe he might make it? He said, at about week two. Did you fear in any moment that he might die? Oh, yeah. What was my greatest fear? Um, we'd been married at that point 45 years. He was three weeks from his retirement. We had plans to spend more time with our grandchildren and do the things he loves. Once he was, he was on life support for two and a half weeks, once they took him off life support, all the doctors that had been in the trauma center with him who didn't think he would make it, all came into his room and they said, we had to see this in person. This is a miracle. I finally woke up and, and uh, could comprehend with, uh, with uh, what she was saying and what uh, people were telling us. So I had no idea of anything that had took place for that, that last, you know, four weeks. Because the shrapnel went through my, my left leg, cutting my artery and sciatic nerve, hitting my hamstring, missing, missing the, the bones. It penetrated all the way through the left leg and then penetrated into the right leg and cutting the arteries in the right leg also. If I did live, which they said, they had no idea what that meant, okay? They didn't know if there'd be brain damage uh, or if, even if you would be able to, to walk again. When we were getting ready to, to leave the hospital for, oh, for the first time, it was very exciting for me. And I told my wife, as we were going to leave the hospital, I said, Karen, because they want to take you out in a wheelchair and, and go out and get in a car. I said, no, I'm going to walk out. For me, the, the, to be able to uh, inspire people is what my goal is to be able to do here is to inspire them to say that, don't give up, find your strength, take your opportunities, okay, and move forward. And you will find those opportunities, and once you find those opportunities, go for it.